Hello from the cottage in Muskoka, Ontario, Canada. Uh, it is Sunday morning. It is uh, probably around 10 o'clock in the morning and it's time to do a little bit of work. I had my two coffees. We all had our good mornings and uh, now it's time to get some work done. They're already on play time, which is good for them. Maybe they did all their work yesterday, but uh, cottages do need a lot of TLC. And today uh, my mom's putting, uh, doing a lot of the gardening type stuff. So she's got the uh, annuals she wants to put in. Uh, I think perennials are the ones that stay all year round and the annuals, I think the annuals stay all year round. Anyway, so these are all the plants that just come up every single year but she wants to put flowers in that can only be uh, planted and they grow and then they die and you gotta do that every single year. She's gonna do that garden and that garden. I'm gonna be helping with moving of the dirt and all the heavy stuff from them and this garden. Gonna do a little weeding and stuff there as well. As you can see, got a dandelion coming up. So we're gonna pull stuff like that out. Got some grass coming up there. Uh, we'll have two pots on the end of the dock that she'll want put some flowers in it looks really nice when the flowers are all blooming and stuff so so today we're going to be working on uh, weeding and instead of pulling up all these weeds which is really hard when it's in the rocks like that uh, is my mom found a concoction online and I'm going to show you this concoction that you can just spray on all the stuff and it's not bad for the environment it's definitely bad for anything that wants to grow in the path that we work so hard to make look good, but it's just like all grass. And that's not supposed to be all grass. It does help with erosion though, doesn't it? All right, so, oh, and this tree's dead. Look at this crazy tree. Look at all those beautiful shapes. But at least a little part of it is hanging on to life. But uh, I think it's time for you to, to leave us, big guy. And uh, these two are doing okay, but they're just, they're struggling to get to the sunlight because of all these trees are blocking it. So they're trying to get up quickly to get up to the sky, and which is making them scrawny. So they might have to come down. And this one is in our way, so we might might take this guy out as well. And just leave all the other ones along the edge. But let's go check out this concoction my mom found online. Do, 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 do. Oh, hi, Sam. Hi. Hi, Sammy. And say hello to Tinkerbell. This is the Tink. This is the Tink and the Sam. And they want their mummies so bad. They want to go outside to the see their mummies. Oh, their mummies. Okay. Back to business. All right. So, get yourself a woodshed spray applicator. And you put a full four liters or a gallon into there. A cup of salt. There's the cup of salt for all you metric people. That's like almost 300 milliliters approximately. So you pour that in. It's probably good to make it the day before because you really want to make sure the salt is dissolved in there because you don't want it to plug up the applicator. And then one tablespoon of Dawn. Let's see if we can put you guys over here. <laughs> nice and crooked like. Is that crooked? Yes. So we'll do one tablespoon. And this helps it stick to everything. There it is, going in. I don't want to drop the spoon in there, but I want to get it off. Look at that. Mm. Oh, it's Tinker, Tinker Bell. All right, so, and then we put our lid back on. Um, I'm gonna give it a quick little wipe because it's, I could feel the salt that didn't make it in get on the threads and so wash that off. Put this applicator thingy back in. Twist her down. I just got this. My mom had another one last year. I guess it broke. I'm not sure what happened to it. 
So we will recycle this. There's a recycling bin. And I have to put this together. I have to do a little more reading on this thing. So we got our spray nozzle. We've got to attach that to that. And then you got to pump it a certain amount of times. I'm gonna have to do a little reading before we attempt that so I don't break it. And then my mom's gotta buy another one. I'd probably have to buy it if I broke it. Read the instructions, not too complicated, making sure that this is tight and all these things are tight. Uh, this is a pressure relief. I could pull that up and let air out, as you can see. If I need to, if it's over pressure or before I try to get this off, I guess you pull this up, release the pressure, then I can take this off and dump the stuff out you don't want. If let's say you just had a little bit left, you wanted to clean it out. Um, yeah, so one of the things I noticed right away is maybe don't put the soap in until the uh, salt is fully dissolved because as you may or may not be able to see, some of the salt is still settling on the bottom and uh, every time I shake it, it keeps making more and more foam inside. So uh, there's a good tip. Put the vinegar, the salt, probably leave it overnight, give it a couple shakes here and there and just before you use it, Put the Dawn in, then give it another quick little shake. And uh, I'm guessing that would be the way to do it. And that way you don't get a lot of foam in there. Hmm. Just wait a little bit longer. <laughs> Carol just came up with a good idea. She said, maybe if you just open it again and get the skinniest spoon possible and just give it a stir and that way you're not shaking it. This almost reaches to the bottom. This will work. Carol's so smart. It's always good to marry somebody smart. <laughs> Let's give her a shot. neat little shoulder strap so you don't have to carry the jug around with a hand oh my goodness that works great let's do it don't spray the wrong flowers so we are going to attack things like that Maybe time for a time lapse. Let's do it. stairs done still got lots of liquid left now I gotta tackle all that all the way down to the lake pump it too many times uh, you'll hear the pressure coming out there's a little emergency you put it up too much and I find it easier just to carry it all 
done that job, I pretty much used up the whole four liters to do all the stuff that you saw me do. And uh, people waving always here in beautiful Muskoka. People are super friendly, always waving. Whether it's a canoer, kayaker, boater, skier, it doesn't matter. Everybody's super friendly. So it's all soaked. We'll see what happens over the next couple of days. Uh, if I, if it happens the way I'm hoping it happened, I'll be able to show you guys the results. Uh, let me know if you guys are going to be using this formula, Rosemary's formula. Used by Rosemary's baby, that's me. Ooh, that's scary. And the instructions that says it's important to uh, clean out after you use it. Again, we're going to let that air out. Before. I don't think you'd be able to undo this without letting the pressure out. Unscrew. This is kind of cool, I forgot to show you this. But after you pump, you twist it and then it stays locked. And then when you pick it up, the handle doesn't come out. If that didn't have that lock, you picked it up by this. Uh, obviously you could use the strap, but it's just easier if you just lock it. And that's just much easier. And then it goes the other way, then helps release. And of course, all that salt's making it look all nasty. All right, and it never gets all of it. So there's a little bit left over. Don't get your strap in there. This thing's gonna come in handy. You know, let's uh, salt out of there for sure. Probably a good idea to put more water in it. And then you can get it out of the lines put some more pressure in it and get it out of this, especially out of this nozzle. I'm gonna probably take the nozzle apart as well. Again, making sure that there's no salt residue locked in here that might clog it up. But let's put some water in it. Put the lid back on. Pump her up. Point this into the sink, just in case. Hopefully the rest of that salt just dissolves and gets out of there. You can actually see it on the handle, all that salt residue. So we want to get that off there. Once you've cleaned it all up, put it back in the box, put it in the shed until you need more weeds to be taken care of up here in Muskoka.